Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this other Vegas Pro 10 tutorial on masking, okay? And today's specific type of masking is going to be having to do with explosions. Let's say you want to put an explosion in the back of a building. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And the way you do that is is called masking, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start by opening Vegas Pro, okay? And go ahead, download a picture of a house or, or something like that. Um, I already have my image right here on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag and drop it into the timeline on Vegas. Okay, there it is right there. Now, first things first, before you want to start masking, you want to go ahead and click on the track properties. Right-click it right there. Just right-click in this empty space here in the track. And click on duplicate track. Okay, so now you should see two copies of the track of the first track that you created okay so now what you want to go ahead and do is click on the first track and uh, make sure you click on event pen slash crop okay this window will pop up and now you'll be able to start masking okay what you want to do you want to go ahead and mask what part of the explosion is going to be behind like what what the explosion is going to be behind. So let's say it's going to be behind this top part of the roof, right? We want we want to mask it very very closely attached to the roof. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So go ahead and click on uh, mask under position right here. See how it says position? Go ahead and check mark mask and click the uh, anchor uh, creation tool, okay? And what you want to do, you want to go ahead and click around the roof make sure that you have a very precise uh, cut here okay we want to be pretty precise to get a pretty good explosion going on okay there we go going around the roof like that down a little bit down here down here and I don't need to do the whole house because the explosion is pretty much just going to be uh, behind the roof so I really don't have to do the whole house so once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on the first dot that you created, the first anchor, and it will make this mask right here. Okay, so there's a mask right here now. Now you can go ahead and exit this window. Okay, then right click in your video track and create a new video track. So click on insert video track. Now what you want to go ahead and do is insert your explosion. Okay, you got to import your explosion here. So let me find it. Do, do, do. Let's see if this is it. Okay. You can get these explosions from uh, places like detonationfilms.com. Uh, they're a pretty good site for that. So let's see how this is going to look. Do, do, do. Okay, let's do that. Um, so as you can see it does not fill up the whole screen here so what we want to do is click on invent pan crop go to the preset and go to 16 to 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio so it can fill up the whole screen now notice how the whole screen in the background is black what we gotta do now is chroma key now for those of you who do not know what chroma keying is it is a tool used in Vegas to to delete a certain color so if if you guys like to use green screens a lot that's what chroma keying is used for you delete that color and you can put anything in that background so for example our background is going to be the houses here so what we want to do is go to uh, video effects and then go down to chroma keyer let's see chroma keyer drag it and drop into the uh, explosion track this window will pop up uh, uncheck mark chroma here click on the pen drop tool under the color palette here and click on the black color okay once you do that go ahead and check mark the chroma keyer again and you can see that it's sort of chroma keyed most of it but we have a little pixelation here so what we want to go ahead and do is get rid of that pixelation and the most accurate way to do a chroma key is to uh, click on show mask only and you can find this under the blur amount right here and what this does it makes the subject white that way you can see perfectly if anything is going to be in the way um, 
So the subject has to be white. If there's anything black or anything blurry, that means that the chroma key is not the best that it could be. So you have these three adjusters right here. You have the low threshold, high threshold, and the blur amount. Try not to use the blur amount as as much because it can sort of create a you know a, a yucky glowing background type thing and it, it's only used if there's a lot of rough edges in the chroma key okay so I'm gonna pretty much just play with the low threshold okay I wanna make sure that only the subject is white so let's go ahead and see oh that's perfect right there okay and if I do the blurring it's it's just not gonna make it the best explosion so I'm gonna keep the blurring to a minimum so I'm going to adjust the low and thr uh, high thresholds here. Okay. That's about right. That's pretty good right there. And once you see only the explosion in white, and it's pretty, it's a pretty clean cut here, as you can see. It's, it's nice and even and smooth. Um, then it looks like you've made a really nice chroma key there. So what you're going to go ahead and do is uncheck mark the show mask only and now you can only see the explosion. Okay, so you did the right job there. Now what you want to go ahead and do is click on the event pan crop button again on your explosion track and move the move the flame up here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, okay so exit out of there. And what you want to go ahead and do now is put the house track on top because it will be the dominant track. And uh, put the flame track under the, the, the house track, the one that you masked. So that way it appears to be in the back of the house. As you can see, the explosion is up here. So let's go ahead and play it and see how it looks. So we did a pretty good masking job here. Uh, let's play it again. There we go. See, pretty good masking job there. It's pretty clean. And it uh, it didn't take that much time, actually. It took me about probably five minutes to do that. Um, I will make another tutorial on how to chroma key with a green screen, okay? It, there's a lot of stuff in, in, in filming yourself in a green screen. I mean, there's lighting, audio, all that type of stuff is really important when chroma keying. Actually just the lighting part. Um, and I'll tell you what type of green screens that you should buy and all that type of stuff because I have all of this equipment and uh, I love I love playing with my green screen. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching uh, today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned something from this. And if, and if you have any questions please feel free to uh, message me or uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time